Product fulfillment is everything that happens after the order comes in for your store and when the customer actually receives the item that you ship to them. In between is product fulfillment and I'm going to cover all of that right now. Let's start by taking a look at the orders list inside of Surecart. So I'm going to go to Surecart and click right here where it says orders and this is going to show me a list of orders. Now there is two columns that I want to draw your attention to, the fulfillment column and the shipping column column and based upon an order's fulfillment status or shipping status, you can also filter and just show a list here of orders that you specifically want to see. So as it relates to fulfillment, let's look at the options here. Unfulfilled, this is a order that has come in and we haven't done anything with it yet. We haven't boxed it. We haven't ordered a shipping label. We haven't done anything that's unfulfilled. Fulfilled is a order that we've gone through the full process of fulfillment and partially fulfilled is for those orders where maybe it's two products and you have to ship them separately. So you might have shipped one already and the other has not been shipped. That would be partially fulfilled. And so you can choose one of these and filter your entire list of orders based upon that. Now there's also shipping statuses. And so this can be different. You can fulfill a product, put it in a box, put the packing slip, put a shipping label, but you haven't quite taken it over to the shipping carrier yet. So that's why it's different. So the statuses for shipping are not shipped, shipped, partially shipped and delivered. So you can filter the orders based upon these statuses. Now what's really nice is your customer is going to see something similar. So as the orders make it through these different processes and statuses, they will see the same thing right here. So this is the order history for a buyer. Here is a, an order that they placed that has been fully shipped. And you can see when I click into it down here, it shows ship that same shipping status. And we've got a tracking number that we added to this one uh, and a list of the products that are associated with this tracking number. That's the case if there's a split shipment. So let's go and take a look at that order that has not shipped but has been paid for and it's right here. So we saw the status not shipped. So we will refresh this page as we take the order through the fulfillment process right here. So first let's go ahead and click inside this order. Now in our order screen right here, we have the fulfillment status. We also have the list of products here and the status is listed there as well. Now, as you can see, this order is not fulfilled. If I want to start the fulfillment process, I can click this button here that says fulfill item and we get this slide out panel here on the right. Now, if there was more than one products in this list, I can set the quantity that is included inside of this shipment. So this shipment here is going to be the entire shipment. It's just one product and it's a quantity of one of that product. But if you have to partially fulfill an order, maybe you don't have all the quantity they ordered or it, there's multiple products and for whatever reason you need to send it in two different shipping methods or two different separate shipments, you can change the quantity of what is going to be sent inside of this package. And then here you can optionally add a tracking number and you can optionally add a tracking link. If you add a tracking number, you will have to add a tracking link and this link carries over into the UI here as well as what the customer sees. So I'll paste in this tracking number right here and you can see as soon as I paste it in, we have this required symbol. I now need to add the tracking link. There's my tracking link. And then I can click right here where it says fulfill item. And you can see now the fulfillment status has changed to fulfilled, but not shipped. And we have this new option right here that says not shipped. So let's go here and let's refresh this. Okay. You can see nothing's changed yet because what the buyer cares about is has the package left, left the building. Has it actually been shipped yet? We also, you can see, have the timestamp for the fulfillment. We also have that tracking number and the link 
for this order, but it hasn't been dropped off just yet. So when I drop it off, I'll change this from not shipped to shipped. The status changes right there. And this is when the view for the customer is going to change. I'll go here, let's go back to my orders and you can see now it says shipped. And when I click into it, it's going to provide for the buyer, the tracking number, the tracking link, all of the information here regarding the shipment. Also, when you go back to your list of orders, you'll see it has now been marked as shipped right there. And so once it's delivered, you can change this from shipped to delivered like that. And if I go back to my orders, you can see right here, fulfilled and delivered. Now this setup allows a lot of flexibility for you to implement your own workflow. What merchants tend to do is there'll be a time of day where they fulfill all the orders. So you could come here and filter this list by just displaying all of the unfulfilled orders. And once you have the list, after clicking filter of the unfulfilled orders, you can click into them one by one, open in a new tab and start the fulfillment process for each one of those orders, updating its status. And then depending on your business workflows, you could use the shipment status how you want. When you fulfill it, you could mark it as shipped. If you know that the carrier is gonna come and pick the packages up or you're going to drop them off that day, you can change it immediately to shipped and you can leave it at shipped. You don't have to go in here and change it to delivered uh, if you don't want to. At any point, you can click into an order. You can see a record of the time it was fulfilled and a link to the tracking, and you can click right here and it will take you straight on over to see the real time status of the tracking. And that's product fulfillment in a nutshell. Now the team at Shortcart is working on real time integrations with various shipping services that can be automated and this would be included in the premium plans that Shortcart offers. Thanks for watching this video.